So, I mean, we're just reemphasizing the need for us to know the things to pray for and the things not to pray for. You know, that's the reason why we're going through staying long on this verse too, because it's critical in that wise. I didn't plan for it, but that's just the way the Holy Spirit is taking us. It's taking us to a place for us to understand prayer. You know, a lot of us pray and we pray amiss, right? James will tell us why we pray amiss. He says, because we ask for our own lost, right? There's nothing wrong in asking from God because he's our supplier, but we must not ask from the flesh. We must ask because we want to, the Jesus Christ says, either to you have not asked, but ask that your joy might be full, right? That's the essence of praying. That's the essence of asking that your joy might be full. A lot of us ask because we are following the Joneses, because your neighbor just bought a car. Oh, God, give me a car. Your neighbor just built a house. God, give me a house. It's not about doing what every other person is doing. It's not about because you want to show people that you serve God. That is not the reason why we pray. We pray so that your joy might be full. Whatever it is that makes your joy full. Whatever it is that gives you life. That is the reason why we pray. Not for competition. Not to show off. Is that we might have life and have life more abundantly. Is that our joy might be full. In, is that we can live in the goodness of our Father. Because the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. The reason I'm praying is my tasting. I want to taste of him. So that it, not just that I will have a head knowledge, my being can tell of the Lord, right? Those are the reasons why we pray. A lot of us use our head and we're doing it because of competition, because of we want to be able to tell somebody just to show off. God does not answer that kind of prayer. Right, God has no business with showing off to anybody, He has no business with, with satisfying our lust, but He wants our joy to be full, He wants us to have life and have life more abundantly. Because when we know all of this, it helps us understand the parameters of prayer, it helps us to come into the place of prayer out of faith, not out of fear. It helps us to come to, out to the place of prayer out of conviction and not just out of feeling. Right, a lot of us pray out of feeling, a lot of us pray out of fear, a lot of us pray as a as a panarchy, you know, as a as a as a tablet. No, we're dealing with a real God, we're dealing with a real throne room, we're dealing with a real devil. It's not a finicky devil, it's not an imaginative devil, it's a devil that is real, it's a devil that is standing against us, it's a devil that gets to the throne room and is making a case against us, not 